And Puerto Rico is under attack! What do we do? Puerto Ricans are facing a power grid nightmare, and U.S. corporate greed is to blame. True, people are leaving the island because they can't pay for electricity. Puerto Rican activists gathered outside a federal court in New York City to protest Golden Tree, the Wall Street vulture fund that's trying to profit off of Puerto Rico's energy crisis. Puerto Rico was already suffering from an outdated electrical grid when it was battered by Hurricane Maria in 2017. When the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority went bankrupt, Golden Tree moved in and bought up its cheap bonds. Now, Golden Tree is taking the Power Authority to court to force them to raise electricity costs and use that money for a payout to the bondholders of $8.5 billion. But activists say that's the last place Puerto Ricans' money should be going. The bondholders want is to have that money just for repayment, instead of investing it in the grid, which is what it actually needs, if it's not invested in repairs, people are just going to have to leave the island. The other company that stands to make millions off of Puerto Rico's crisis is Luma Energy. <laughs> Luma is the private U.S. Canadian company that now manages the island's electrical grid. Back on the island, Puerto Ricans hit the streets in outrage at Luma Energy after another massive blackout left 340,000 people without power during a heat wave last month. Luma is a mafia. Luma is a mafia apalada por el gobierno y apalada por el Congreso de Estados Unidos. In 2021, Luma took over parts of Puerto Rico's once publicly owned grid in a 15-year deal for $1.5 billion that was sealed behind closed doors. Puerto Ricans were promised a privatized grid would improve service. Ese proyecto y ese modelo de privatización con Luma fracasó. Todo lo que le vendieron, todo lo que le vendieron al pueblo, eso fracasó. Todo lo que dice Pierluisi es para las gradas, porque Pierluisi fue el que le vendió al pueblo que eso era una empresa de calibre mundial, que no iba a haber aumentos en el costo de la luz, que den un tiempo en lo que... Mira, y lo que esto ha sido totalmente un desastre. Under Luma's watch, blackouts are only more frequent and prolonged, and electricity costs are higher than ever. After several Luma price hikes, Puerto Ricans now pay an electricity rate 40% higher than what those in the U.S. pay, which means they're spending 8% of their incomes on electric bills, compared to 2.4% for Americans. No importa, no le importa, y le siguen faltando el respeto al pueblo, por eso es que estamos aquí, Y esperamos que esto sea el comienzo de, de muchas manifestaciones porque, vuelvo y repito, el país para que tenga paz y tranquilidad y estabilidad en el sistema eléctrico, hay que anular ese contrato y traer a las trabajadoras y trabajadoras que fuimos desplazados. Narváez is referring to the hundreds of skilled electrical linemen with the Union of Electricity Workers who were forced out and replaced by workers from Luma's parent company. But a shortage of expertise only partially explains Luma's incompetence. La Junta, that's the U.S.-appointed board which has controlled all of Puerto Rico's fiscal policy since 2016 when Obama signed the PROMESA Act. They are totally unelected by Puerto Ricans. By selling off Puerto Rico's public assets to private companies, the U.S. government is ensuring the island is more favorable for its corporate profits while making it unlivable for Puerto Ricans. There are now more Puerto Ricans in the diaspora than on the island itself, and they say they're being forced out by these austerity policies. Forced displacement is a weapon of colonialism. They are making conditions in Puerto Rico impossible for people to survive for people to make a living, for people to access food, water, their basic needs. So Puerto Ricans believe that they'll find it here in the United States of America. And when they come here, they realize that the situation is just as dire here for Puerto Ricans and for all people that live in the United States of America. They want us out of Puerto Rico so that they can take over and make it into their, you know, their own paradise, their tax haven. No!